Father's Day is on Sunday, and one man is working overtime to promote fatherhood and strengthen the ties between fathers and their kids. Former New York Knicks superstar Allen Houston is not only one of the all-time leading scorers in Knicks history and a two-time NBA All-Star, he's also the father of seven, yikes, seven kids, named Father of the Year by the National Fatherhood Initiative back in 2007. He also founded the Allen Houston Legacy Foundation to help fathers and sons. It's nice to have you. Good morning. Oh, thanks for having me. So seven kids. The oldest is 13. Right. I know you just had a, a new baby. Right. I think we have a little picture of this new baby. Yeah. How is it? How have you learned from the first to the seventh about how to be a good father? What's changed over all that time? You know, for well, first of all, I've learned to just listen to my wife. <laughs> oh, you're a <laughs> you know, smart man. <laughs> no, I mean seriously, she she puts so much so much energy, and she keeps a a very tight. Uh, foundation you know it's, it's a lot of order it's organized chaos but um, I think first you know we just we just leave it to God to kind of give us direction because there's a lot of things that are going to happen and no no parent is perfect so you kind of have to just keep a some kind of a standard and I think the biggest thing is you have to keep a standard that they can adhere to but also know that that they're going to make mistakes and we're going to make mistakes but we just have to keep talking keep talking and keep when it, came, it. when it came to your charity, why did you want to focus on, on fatherhood? Well, my father is just a great man. He's a great leader. Um, and I had a very unique experience in that I actually played for him in college. So that experience, not only was I learning fundamentals of basketball and learning how to become a better basketball player and be equipped for the NBA, but I was watching him. I was watching how he dealt with my mother. I was watching how he dealt with scrutiny. I was watching his work ethic. And by the time I got to the NBA, not only did I, did I listen to those words, but I actually saw his example. You know, we, and halfway through my career, you know, we just said, this is something we have to share because you know, we would hear often a lot about our relationship and how, you know, in the African-American community, you know, being having a, a strong male figure is, is rare. And I, and I just didn't want to buy into that. And I, and I wanted other people to understand that it shouldn't be an anomaly. It, sh it should be a standard. You have a, a, a Father's Knows Best basketball retreat, which yeah. sort of gives an opportunity not just to the kids, but also right. for the fathers and their kids to have an opportunity yeah. to learn together. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, aside from learning fundamentals of basketball, we wanted to bring fathers and mentors for those uh, kids who didn't have fathers to come into an environment where they could bond, they connect. But we want to encourage and empower men in general to understand that you know, this fatherhood issue is, is, is huge. It's like the elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about they, they, um, and deal with. And so we have to give them tools and, and equipment and strategy. And for the young men, we have to prepare them because a lot of, you know, our kids are growing into uh, relationships and becoming young fathers. So we have to prepare them for that, for that uh, role. So how does it work? The kid and the dad will right. go to one of your basketball retreats. Yeah, well, right now it's a tour, and it's set up to where we're going to all throughout New York City, and we're launching in all five boroughs. So uh, the fathers and men will come into an environment for a day. They'll, they'll come with their kids. They'll go through you know, some high-powered high basketball training and instruction. But we also have workshops, and we, and we help them understand their role. We talk about communication. We talk about their identity. Because, you know, I talk to basketball players, pros, men in general, and one of the questions that, that men usually have, especially if they didn't have that relationship with their father, is, who am I? And so it, it leaves a huge void, even in, even in men who have had fathers. So we talk about a lot of those issues. And then so after that experience for a day, we move into a full seven-week program, which, is, uh, which we have a curriculum that we've established. And the goal is for this program to be left all throughout New York City, and then it continues to grow. More families can come in. If you could fix sort of the issue with fatherhood, yeah. what could you change, not only in, in the black community, certainly, but yeah. in the community, I mean, the human community as a whole? Wow. Um, well, I, th I think, first of all, you, you have children who kind of come into school. They come into social environments, whether they're team, uh, the churches. They come in with a sense of identity. They know who they are. They know their purpose. They have a vision. And uh, at the end of the day, they know what type of legacy they want to leave. And I think that's one of the, the issues. And, you know, we talk about a lot of societal issues. And I just think a lot of them will, would be helped, and not cured, obviously helped, if we had, you know, the men that, that understood, had that example uh, at home. And um, it's just one of many tools. There are a lot of great men doing some great things in, in the area of fatherhood and around the city and around the country. 
But one of the issues that we've been blessed with is uh, the engagement. Um, you know, a lot of these programs aren't, they're not, they're, the men aren't being engaged with their, with their kids. Basketball's the way in. And the basketball is, is, is a great <laughs> you tool. You know basketball. So. <laughs> Ellen, nice to have you. Thanks for talking. Thank, Happy Father's so Day much. to you as thank well. You. Thank you. Thank you. With seven kids, you're going to get a great present. Yeah. You know what? Just being with them, honestly, because you know you're on the road so much, but just being with them is, is my, my Father's Day.